What is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video. Today we are somewhere different and that's because I want to talk to you about cold exposure. I'm at uni and I have access to this awesome ice bath here, fortunately for free. So this is something I've been using for the past few months as well as on a regular daily basis for the past one to two years. Before we jump into today's video, which is three different ways that you can use cold exposure, I wanna briefly give you a couple of reasons why you should consider using it. The first is that it increases focus, attention, and mood. When you have cold exposure, it increases your norepinephrine by like 300 to 500%. This is a hormone neurotransmitter that's associated with that sympathetic fight or flight nervous system. What it does is it's gonna increase your attention, it's gonna increase your focus, um, it's gonna give you more energy. Because of this norepinephrine, it also has an anti-inflammatory response. It does this by suppressing any pro-inflammatory molecules. It also increases the interaction between anti-inflammatory receptors. We do a lot of training, we get a lot of that muscle damage and a lot of inflammatory muscular response, so it can also help in recovery. Finally, it helps you burn more fat. When you get cold, your body uses brown adipose tissue or brown fat to generate heat. It does this by burning white adipose tissue or white fat. So your body burns body fat to generate heat. This means by getting cold, we increase our ability to burn fat. It's a use it or lose it approach. So if you want to increase your ability to burn fat, then try getting cold. So today's video is gonna be about three different ways to do cold exposure. Before we jump into that, I just wanna give a warning. You should be checking with a medical professional, making sure you are good to do cold exposure. It is a relatively stressful thing. The three steps I'm gonna provide you are kind of progressive, so it's like a step one, two, and three in terms of how intense it's gonna be, but definitely check with somebody first. Also timings, when should you do cold exposure? I personally recommend doing it first thing in the morning. That's gonna give you the most benefit in terms of that increased focus, increased attention, increased energy. It's kind of like having a coffee. There is some humming and ahhing about whether you should do it post-exercise because your body has a natural anti-inflammatory response to exercise and cold can actually stop this from happening. I personally would recommend leaving it an hour after exercise before having that cold exposure, but up to you and experiment with that one. So the first method is face dunking. This is gonna be the least intense method because we're only localizing the cold exposure, much like putting an ice pack on your elbow or something. For this, all you're gonna to need to do is fill up a bucket or something of cold water. You want this water to be about 10 to 12 degrees. You're then gonna do some calming breathing just to get yourself ready. Take a deep breath and dunk your face into the water. Hold it as long as you can, come out, take a few breaths to recover, and repeat that process for three to five times. You can do this on a daily basis, and it will really help you adapt to that cold. Once you've done this for a couple of weeks, or you just wanna jump straight in, you can jump into a cold shower. There's two ways that you can go about this cold shower. The first is a contrast shower, and the second is just a straight up cold shower. Contrast shower, you'd start with one to two minutes of a warm, normal shower. Then you would start the cold contrast in which you do a set period of time of cold shower, and then you'd switch back to hot. You would always finish on that cold exposure. I would recommend doing something like 30 seconds cold, 30 seconds warm, and then slowly reducing down the amount of warm you're having and increasing the cold. So like 40 seconds cold, 20 seconds warm. You want to aim to accumulate something like two to three minutes of total cold time. The second way is just by jumping in the shower, starting off with that one to two minutes of warm, and then just turning it straight to cold and keeping it cold for that two to three minutes until you finish the shower. Or if you're a true badass, you just do cold all the way through. Again, we're aiming for that 10 to 12 degrees water temperature. The final method is taking an ice bath or just some straight up cold submersion. This is gonna be a lot more intense because you're gonna have some sort of air and water element when you're in a shower and it's only localized with the face dunking. Whereas when you dunk your whole body, you have a lot more conduction of that cold. That is what I am about to do. So let's jump into some cold exposure. Five minutes is on the timer. 
Here we go. One thing to remember about cold exposure is to breathe. You can use methods like the Wim Hof method. Um, I personally prefer to use box breathing, and that's when you take a five second inhale, hold it for five seconds, exhale for five seconds, and hold that for five seconds, and repeat. When it comes to full body immersion, I recommend you start off slow, start with two to three minutes at most, as well as some experience when it comes to cold showers. I'm going for five minutes today. So that is it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button if you did. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or recommendations, or want to share any other thoughts about cold exposure. If you found a friend who you think would enjoy this video then maybe hit that share button. But that is it for this week guys, have a strong and cold week.